Okay. Uh, we're starting the press meet now. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining the NIT press meet uh, to announce the quarter four consolidated results and for financial year FY21-22. Making the announcement today with us, we have uh, Mr. Vijay Thadani, uh, Vice Chairman and Managing Director, NIIT. Uh, Mr. P. Rajendran, uh, Joint Managing Director, NIIT. And uh, Mr. Sapnesh Lala, uh, CEO and Executive Director, NIIT Limited. To set the context and start the press meet, may I request Vijay for his opening remarks, please. Thanks, Pratik. Uh... Uh, good afternoon uh, to uh, everyone who's able to join today's uh, press meeting. I uh, truly appreciate uh, your sparing the time and uh, to be with us. We are here to discuss the results of NIIT Limited for the financial year ending March 31st, 22, uh, as well as also discuss the significant events in, uh, in quarter four. Uh, while my colleague Sapnesh, uh, uh, who's also the CEO and executive director of the company, would take us through the details, I just wanted to start by saying that it's indeed been a milestone year where, amongst other things, NIIT completed 40 years uh, of uh, its existence. And it's also been one of the better years that we have seen in terms of the overall uh, capability building, track record, performance, uh, as well as the strong brand trust that the NIT brand enjoys. But uh, more details of that will come to you from uh, Sapnesh. Over to you, Sapnesh. And may I also recommend that uh, you keep the questions till the end and we'll open it up for Q&A. Thanks, Vijay, and thanks everyone for joining. Uh, like Vijay pointed out, I would echo his sentiment that it has indeed been a milestone year. Uh, the, the crowning glory has been that the 40-year anniversary has been crowned with significant results. I'll walk you through the financial results. Our revenues stood at 1,377.5 crores. They were up 44% year on year. Our EBITDA profit stood at 299.9 crores it was up 82% year on year. The EBITDA margin stood at 21.8%. It was up 456 basis points year on year. For the quarter, the uh, Q4 results were as follows. The revenue stood at 375. Uh, uh, 375 crores, they were up 35% year on year. The EBITDA was 73.2 crores. In the quarter, the corporate learning business acquired three new customers and grew its revenue 24% year on year. The skills and career business grew at 97% year on year. So overall, a very strong annual and quarterly performance. Thank you. May I now open it for uh, Q and A? Uh, Sapnesh gave an overall brief. The detailed release has all the uh, the 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 ratios as well as percentages of growth. Uh, but if any one of you would like to uh, ask further questions, we'll be happy. To. Uh, we have uh, Prasoon joining us from uh, PTI. And we have a hand raised from Pinak for a query. Uh, go ahead, Pinak. Uh, yeah, Mr. Lala, can you hear me? Am I audible? Yes, yes we can hear you. Okay, so the press release talks about uh, uh, the composite scheme of arrangement uh, that has been approved by the board. Uh, could you tell us, like, what is the thought process, you know, behind this, and what this means for NIIT going forward? Okay, uh, uh, let, me, let me make an attempt and then my colleagues will join in and add more. Uh, so NIIT has two significant businesses. One business which is known as the corporate learning group, which is right now a very significant part of overall NIIT's revenue. 
This is a business which offers managed training services to corporate clients in United States, uh, basically North America, Europe, and more mature geographies. Uh, the second business, which is skills and careers, which is addressing the needs of individuals as well as corporates uh, in a variety of <clears throat> domains as well as technologies in India and the emerging markets. The two businesses have been together for uh, since inception, but over a period of time, both businesses have acquired their, their individual character and have uh, different trajectories of work, different set of customers, uh, different aspirations, and different capital needs, as well as priorities. And uh, uh, the company went through an extensive process of uh, building the strategy for the future, at the end of which the board uh, felt that it would be useful for the benefit uh, of each of the businesses and for each of the businesses to get the uh, to 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 derive the true potential that they have that each of these businesses have that NIT Limited demerges itself into two companies or reorganizes itself into two independently listed companies for which a scheme of arrangement was approved by the board of directors uh, in uh, the month of February. And uh, and that scheme of arrangement, that scheme of arrangement is right now undergoing the regulatory process. We believe the process will take eight to nine months more, and uh, we would keep our shareholders as well as public at large informed about that. So that is the com composite scheme of arrangement that is being referred. Uh, thank you, uh, Vijay, uh, for answering that question. So we have, uh, you know, uh, Sapnesh and Mr. P. Rajendran available. Uh, Vijay, uh, you need to take the call. So if you could, uh, you know, kind of carry on with that, and we'll have Sapnesh and Mr. P. Rajendran answering. Uh, we have a question coming in from Prasoon. Prasoon, please go ahead. Unmute yourself, Prasoon, you're on mute. Uh, Naveen, can we unmute Prasoon? I'd ask him to unmute. Just yeah, request. I think Prasoon is showing connecting to audio. Uh, uh, his, uh, his image is there and the hand is raised. Prasun, do you want to type out? Maybe uh, Prasun's question can be taken up offline then. And uh, uh, we close this meeting at this point of time if nobody else has any questions. Uh, am I audible now? Yes, go ahead. Yes, Prasun, please. Yeah. See, I... Hello? Yeah, I want to understand like uh, CLG and SNC will be hived off. Like, uh, will we see two stocks coming up from NIT or uh, uh, only CLG will be shown as a separate stock? Two, two, two independently listed companies and two stocks will be quoted once the scheme of arrangement is implemented. Okay, and what happens to the NIT which is listed a company? That will be one of the companies. So okay. it NIT and there will be another company called NIT Learning Services Limited. Okay. My other question is, you have seen like uh, uh, high growth in uh, this quarter as well as for the year in both the segments. But going forward, how do you uh, plan to tackle the challenges that uh, new age firm at tech is posing to the same segment? They are also coming up with, with say, uh, training courses and other things. How are you handling those challenges? That's a very good question. And I would request uh, Sapnesh to handle that. Uh, and Vijay, you have gone mute. Yeah, I said that. 
Oh, sorry. So I'll repeat. I said that's a very good question, and Sapnesh will handle that. And I uh, would uh, now request Raju to take over this meeting because uh, I have another commitment uh, which I have to be at. Okay. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Vijay. Uh, uh, I think the question was uh, with all the ed techs uh, joining the fray, how would we retain the growth rate of NIT? Was that, did I get, did I get the question right? Yeah, those yes, are the yes, challenges. How will you maintain that momentum? Okay, I think I think the the most important thing is uh, on uh, on two dimensions. One is what does the NIT brand stands for, and what does the NIT brand espouse? I think the NIT brand has been associated and continues to be associated with an organization who takes it upon themselves as a responsibility to create learning hard learning outcomes that result into significant economic mobility for the student who's going through our programs. And that commitment is not just a brand promise. It, is, it resu has resulted into reality for millions of NIT students over the last 40 years. And we continue to hold that very near and dear to our heart. And we will continue to do that. So when a student comes to NIT, whether they come to NIT digitally, which they are doing more, most often today, or they came to NIT in the past, they can rest assured that they will achieve outcomes that they are aspiring to achieve, which means they will be able to do the work that they have so far not been able to do, be able to participate in digital transformation, related jobs, which are most aspirational for our students today. And that commitment is what drives NIT, NIT's differentiation and is core to NIT's growth. And that expectation of our customers is what is very close to our heart. And we continue to execute to deliver upon. Just a question addition to that. What we have seen is they are playing on two parts, two things. That one is on the pricing factor. The other thing is on the reach to the consumer. They have built the online capacity. Now they are moving towards the offline also. Some of them are doing it. So how do you plan to challenge them in these two fronts and their uh, <clears throat> and online capacity that they have already built? Like I pointed out, uh, we, we have made agile and decisive actions by pivoting to digital during the pandemic. And we will continue to be agile in our decision-making. Our goal is to meet our customers where they are convenient to meet and, uh, and where it is most advantageous for them to achieve the outcomes that they are looking for. For us, it is not a question of are we uh, online or are we offline? For us, what's most important is what is the optimal way in which our students achieve the learning outcomes that they are most desirous of achieving? And that's what we will continue to execute towards. Thank you. And if I may add, we will continue to use technology to spearhead uh, uh, our innovations and our designs going forward. Thank you. Thank you for the insight. Pratik, uh, are there any you. other questions? Yeah. Thank you, Prasun. Uh, do we have any more questions? Uh, Minak, uh, Ayush, anybody? If there are no more questions, can I continue with one more question? Yeah, sure. Go ahead, Prasun. Uh, can you sh give me a scenario on the manpower front that uh, NIIT has and uh, post uh, this demerger also? What will the scenario? I think we can uh, we, we can comment on the uh, the the number of folks that we have at NIIT today. We've added about five hundred and seventy-two people uh, in this past year, and uh, about two hundred and fifty folks have joined NIIT during this past quarter. Uh, how uh, the, the uh, uh, teams will be split across 
the time frame in which the scheme will be approved will depend on the hiring going forward as an organization given the growth we are continuing to hire in significant numbers thank you thank you uh, uh, thanks uh, prasun uh, in case uh, there are no further questions uh, uh, we can close the press meet now and you can also follow up on email or call as necessary so uh, thank you uh, all for joining the press meet uh, sapnesh uh, uh, p rajendran and uh, uh, journalists and uh, media persons uh, thank you for joining the nitq4 press meet we bring this to an end now thank you very much uh, everyone from the media um, thanks for joining thanks for taking the time i know it's uh, hard uh, for you uh, these days given the earnings season okay bye bye thank you